Hey everyone, I'm Heather and welcome back to my channel. So we are here today with Timberborn. Uh, I've had this game for a while and I actually kind of forgot I did till somebody brought it up. And um, I've been looking for a time to play it, so now it's a good time. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I can, I believe I can only pick the folk tales for now. And probably do, we'll do the planes because I've never played this before. I have watched a bunch of people play it, but I have not played it. So we're going to pick, I guess, the recommended map. Mm. I mean, we're going to try normal, see how it goes. Maybe that's a mistake. Maybe we should do ah uh, easy. Okay. Um so what would we like our settlement to be called? I have no idea. I wish they just told me <laughs> about it. Um we will just call it Beaverton. <sighs> okay. Uh, so, let's see. This is the tutorial, like, right down here. Welcome! This tutorial will help you with the, all the basics of building a beaver settlement. Every new settlement needs logs. Only lumberjacks will cut trees, so place two lumberjack flags near trees. Okay. So let's go ahead and get out. Wood, we need a lumberjack flag. And then R. Okay, so maybe like, I guess it needs to be on a road. So I guess we'll put it here. And I need a second one. I guess we'll do two right next to each other. The flags will not be built unless they are in the district's building range. Select the district center. It is in the building range. So we actually need to get those built. So go ahead and do that for me, guys. All right. The flags will not be built unless they are in... We did that. Uh, every building with an entrance must be connected to a district center by a path. Be aware that district centers have a limited range, building paths to connect the lumberjack flags. Build paths. Um, you can select the district center to see its range along paths. So, paths right here. And we'll just do that. Okay, so we've got our paths. Lumberjacks do not start working until you tell them what to do. Use the cut trees tool. Okay, over here. To mark the area for cutting. Um, mark tree cutting area. Right here. A lumberjack flag only cuts trees within range. Uh, let's unmark that. I guess that was not necessary anyway. Okay, so we did that. Beavers need water to survive. Build a water pump to ensure a continuous source of drinking water. Remember to connect it to the district center. Okay, so the water pump. I guess we'll need it like here. Okay. And then we have to do a path from here all the way here. All right. So let's get going. Now they haven't said anything about assigning people yet. I know we have to. Maybe they automatically just assign themselves if we look at them. Yes. 
OK。So let's get down here to the water pump, see about building that. Uh, we're probably going to have to put something in there. S speed up a little bit. Is that? Okay. Beavers need water to survive. We did that. In addition to water, beavers also need food. Build a gatherer flag near the berry bushes. Okay. We want to put this all the way, maybe right here, because it covers all those. And then I guess the path right there. So let's go ahead and get that done. Wow, we're, we're taking out those trees pretty quickly. A settlement needs a stable food source. Build a farmhouse to plant and harvest crops. If you're running low on workers, you can pause some buildings. To do so, select a building and click pause or press P. Okay, so we need a farmhouse. I guess let's put it... right here maybe? And then, I think we have to build it first. Get it built before we can, like, select the crops and everything that we want. I mean, it looks like I have plenty of workers right now, because I only have a couple things. And I guess we have time till the drought, or maybe just through this thing. Although it is on normal mode, so I, I don't think the tutorial should have anything to do with that. I'll see if we can speed up a little bit to try to get this done. If we can get this farm built, that would be super great, you know. It just takes so long. And we're going to have to build another, we're probably going to have to dismantle one of these and put it over here or up here somehow if we have stairs. Okay, so there is our farmhouse. Um, farmers will not start working until you, tell them, until you tell them what and where to plant. Use the plant crops tool. Okay. We need to do this on irrigated field and they want us to do carrots. So that is what we're doing. I know we need a bunch, but it always seems like people build these huge farms, like very huge farms. And then they can't ever handle their huge farms. So I guess right now we'll, we'll do like, we need to get rid of that tree. Maybe we'll do this. That should be like a decent farm and do it like that. Oh, well, they want me to, they're going to make me do a hundred, aren't they? Okay. 92 there okay they made me do that much um while well, the buildings you placed have some storage they will fill up quickly build a log pile a small water tank in a small warehouse okay so let's build a log pile hmm. Okay, so we'll build our log pile right here. We need to build 
a small water tank. I guess maybe right here. And we'll do two. Oh no, they want us to do three. I'm not even paying attention, you know. And a small warehouse. We'll do a warehouse right there. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and let all these things be built. I assume they're leading me in the right direction so as not to die immediately. Okay, I want to cut that tree. Oh no, we want we want to get rid of that. I knew there was a way to do that. Because honestly, it annoys me to have like this <laughs> hole right here. Uh, we probably want to perhaps pause this building. We have not a lot of trees. We could probably get that lumberjack thing to come over here too and get these couple. But for now, I think it's it's okay to do what we're doing. We've got those things. We don't have enough logs, I think, to actually save any logs in the log pile. But we're getting there. And priority doesn't really matter, so I'm just letting them do it however they feel like. I do want to plant a carrot right there. And just get that done. And they're just sleeping, I guess. And then we just need to work on this stuff. So that one's good. And then we just need this. Which I assume they're going to do at some point. And I guess for now, like, I've, I've seen how people do, like, the warehouses where they, like, make it so that only one particular item goes in there. I don't know if we'll need to do that at this point. We may not live long enough <laughs> to have to, to do that kind of thing. Because the things that I've seen that people, like, their entire, like, setups you know, are pretty crazy sometimes with how big they can get and how many districts and everything like that. I have to build six lodges? Housing. Okay, so I, I mean, I guess I would want to build them up this way. Two, three, and then I could get the mirrored ones. Mm, no, I don't want that. How do I get rid of that? Delete it. No, no, no. I don't want the, I don't want this. Yes. I don't want that. How do I get rid of that? Um. I don't want this. I don't want that there. Maybe you have to... How do I get rid of this? Oh, that this yes yes get 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 away get away from me I don't want that okay so we'll get this here right there and bring it down and I guess we'll 
I, I said I didn't want that. I don't want you to do this. I don't want you to do that thing. Delete it. I don't know how to, I don't know how to get rid of that if I don't want it. I guess I'm going to have to. I don't know. It looks like I'm going to need to get this back bit of trees. That may actually not even be within the the range to cut trees. Because these ones don't seem to be cut. So that may actually not even be like within their range. No, it should be. So I don't know why it's not doing it. I don't like that. And I don't want it there. And honestly, I'm not even sure that's going to count because I did the reverse lodge. So it may actually not count as building a lodge. Hopefully it does. I guess we'll see. And we'll see if Mark, if saying to tear it down actually does something or not. Your beavers are happier than ever. You have reached a new well-being high score. Three. Okay. Ugh, I guess there's... I guess we'll see what they do. I really wanted to put it, like, closer than this, but we'll see. And we'll see if this counts as an actual lodge for us. And they apparently are not enjoying this thing. Actually, some of this would work, would be able to be cut by... Yeah, that's not it. Okay. They haven't said anything about research yet, which I think you need for a forester. So, they haven't... Oh, I mean, I guess we could build something over here for these. Did that count? It did count, but it it's fine. I'll just double the path. I wasn't planning on doing that. I'd actually wanted them closer together. Okay, beavers have a happiness goal of four now. Alright, they're almost done with that. It did count as a lodge, so that's good. That'll do this. Alright, in inventor. That's what we're after. Inventor. Mm, I'm not sure where I want this. I mean, because I kind of want to keep it out of the way. Maybe like over on this corner. I could probably fit like two right there. And then we'll just keep one. By itself. I guess maybe I should pause one of them. So they only make one. Then they, uh. Hopefully they don't build it. Like that. 
If we pause the building, too. Like, before it's done. Maybe they do build it. But I don't think we need to, but I think we will at some point. All right, it is almost done, and we're definitely going to need that forester soon. Oh, our beavers are happiness five. And we have somebody generating those science points. Uh, we did do that. Build a water wheel. Okay, let's see. We can now start producing more advanced resources, but some buildings require power to do so. Build a water wheel by the shore of the river. It is, a de it is dependent on water flow, so it stops producing energy when there is no water. All right. Where do I want this? Maybe like right here? Right there, maybe? Can they get there without the... The thing? Okay, they can at least build without the roads. They just can't do anything with it afterwards. Without the roads. I'm not sure this... We want to do all this just yet. I mean, I guess we need to. We at least need the planks. And we have some born beavers. We really need this. Let's look at the wood. Lumber mill forester. 60 science points. And we're definitely going to need the lumber mill first. So I guess we do need that stuff. And we have a lot of grown-up beavers. Okay, what what are you, what are you upset about? What is that? Broken teeth. I don't know what to do about broken teeth. Maybe we get this guy open. And someone with not broken teeth can do something. What do I do about broken teeth? Well-being. Let's look at well-being. Campfire. Rooftop terrace. Teeth grindstone. Basic needs broken teeth. How big is this? Oh, that's super teeny. We'll get you in there. Because you need that. And we do have some stairs here, so we can probably get one of those lumberjack flags out that way when we run out down here. But they should be able to get all those trees as well. Maybe we do this as a priority. Let's do that as a priority. Because they, they can't do anything if their teeth are broken. Okay. And we'll go ahead and get them their campfire. Shh, campfire. Does it? Oh, it's kind of big. I would have preferred some other sort of thing. I don't have stairs. I guess we'll build a campfire right there, but build the teeth grinder first. And then build this one. This one is the priority now, after the teeth grinder. Okay, so we've got the water well. Okay. It is time to start producing planks. Build a lumber mill and connect it to the water wheel with power shafts. Okay, so this. I need that to be completely out of my way, though, because... It's kind of annoying. 
Hmm. How close can I get it? Maybe like that? That way I don't have to have as many power shafts. Just that. And then... Like, and we're probably not building very well in this particular one. Okay, build lumber mill, power lumber mill. We'll still go ahead and we'll put this priority, this um, second priority, and that can be just neutral. They'll probably get that done first, though, because they're already working on it. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, so we, we don't have these, do we? Demolish priority. Let's do we, we haven't done anything with this and nobody has said to do anything like that. What in stairs, platform, platform. I need a dam. We need this to fill up. Just, a, just enough. Okay, and then we need a dam right here. I need them to prioritize that. And that's just, that's 20 logs. So that is a lot of logs. Hopefully we can get that done. So we at least have a tiny bit of water. So it at least keeps the berries done. Because then we're going to need to do, I guess, a dam. They have not talked about dams at all. Build a forester. We do need that. Okay, science points. We do have those. And I guess we'll do that right there. Definitely need that, but it's not going to help us anyway during our dry cycle. We just we just need this so it blocks off this just little bit of water. It'll keep some of our berries. Good. Um, Gather Hut does all those berries. So it should at least keep the ones right around the water. So we should at least have that for food anyway. Okay, uh, so they're going to build the Forester. That's next. We're full up on water. Hopefully they have not led me astray. Because they didn't tell me anything about damming this up. And they haven't talked about dams at all. Or actually <laughs> the, dra the dry season. So. I don't know. Maybe that's coming after the Forester. Maybe I should have been quicker about this. All right, so we've got that. Now you can plant trees. Um, let's see. Choose the plant trees and bushes tool right here. And they want me to plant pine. They want me to plant 20 pine. I guess we'll do it like this. 18 there. Your settlement is now self-sufficient as long as the water keeps flowing. Consider building a dam or placing more water tanks to help your beavers survive the drought. The tutorial shows you the basics, but there is much more you can discover on your own. Okay, so that's the extent of the tutorial. So, we built the little dam here. Where's the water source come from? Is it up this way or down the other way? I mean, there's this. And then this huge, huge pool right here. So it must come from the other direction. So I guess what we would want is the dam 
right here so it doesn't flow out. Let's go ahead and it's not exactly what I wanted to do, but we'll we'll do it like that. And they can just do that over time. They're not going to get it done to this time. We'll have that little bit. But this should keep all the water in here. And I guess eventually we should probably take out some of this and do like a floodgate. Or we'll do a floodgate back here. I don't know. And what is this? Just we're maxed out of stuff? Well, good. Then they'll have some stuff for the, the dry season because this is about to dry up. All right, so we're hitting the dry season. Let's let this dry up. And I think we will probably end this uh, right here. I guess they can get back there. I don't know that they can. Oh, but yeah, this, this really helps right here. That hasn't fully dried up because it's deeper. Do I have to do a path over to this? Huh. Okay, I might have to. All right. Well, I guess that's going to go ahead and be everything for this time. In the next one, we'll get through this drought. We'll see about getting a dam built uh, for the next drought. And maybe we need to see about getting a floodgate instead or a levee. This should let some water through. Um, but yeah, uh, that is going to be everything for this time, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!